If you're trying to make passive income these days, one of the biggest trends you'll hear about is the YouTube automation method. In fact, guys, when this method is done correctly, it's not just a method, it's actually a business model and one that can be very successful and that can generate a ton of money. And that's what we're gonna discuss in this video. We're gonna talk about what YouTube automation is and how you can build a successful business out of it. But to start with, let's talk about some basics. Some people may refer to YouTube automation as cash cow channel or faceless YouTube channel but anyhow if you have never heard of this term a cash cow youtube channel is a channel where you make videos without showing your face the reason why they call it cash cow is because it's made with a single purpose is to make money there are plenty of youtube channels out there on youtube channels like Brightside, watch mojo lupa and there are many more and it can be a very lucrative business when done correctly now let me explain to you what youtube automation is it's basically a method that allows creators who are running cash cow youtube channels to automate the entire process of making videos for these cash cow YouTube channels. And because of this automation, they can actually scale their business and run multiple YouTube channels. For me, this is a legit business model based on the same principles a lot of entrepreneurs are doing. It's basically outsourcing. These days, you can outsource pretty much anything. Content creation for websites, blogs, and you can use VAs, you can use designers, etc., and all outsourced. And I'm also using the same method to run different parts of my business. And with the same token, why not create an entire YouTube channel that can actually run even without you? Now, let me explain further, guys. The process of creating or making YouTube videos can be entirely automated. This means that you don't have to do any work. And in case you want to sell it, it'll be much easier to sell because it's faceless. Anyone can be behind it. Compared to a personal brand channel that requires you to make videos for people to watch its content when you create a YouTube video. So it's different. One requires you to be there physically to make videos either edit them or pass them to an editor but you have to be the person making these videos this is what we call a personal brand channel you can't just suddenly sell it and another person will start running it because it's your audience people want to watch you they don't just want to suddenly start watching someone else but with a faceless youtube channel you can sell it on once twice or three times nobody cares as long as the content keeps coming in in the same niche that the audience is used to now when you create youtube videos Videos, there are five key things that video creation needs to go through. You need the video idea, then a script, then a voiceover, and you need to edit that video, then you need the thumbnail, which is the last step. Now, the great thing is each of these components or processes can be automated. And by that, I mean outsourced. You can easily hire someone on Fiverr or Upwork to do that work for you. And then you put it all together and voila, the video is created. I'm going to leave you a link down below for Fiverr to get a discount, guys, in case you want a discount. Now, let's talk about the video idea. The first step of creating a video, any type of video, is coming up with the idea. Now, this can be time consuming, of course, but when you know which niche you want to be in, what your YouTube channel is going to be about, it becomes much easier. And you can even get someone else to come up with dozens of ideas. So, in this case, you can actually hire someone to do the research for you. The next step is script writing. Now, as we know, the recommended video length for watch time is around eight minutes. And roughly, for an eight minute video you need at least a thousand words now you can go to fiverr and hire a script writer but be careful you need to know who you're hiring you need to get someone with good skills test them out see what they're like because this phase of the video creation process is the most crucial because it's the content nobody's going to want to watch boring content or content that doesn't make any sense the third step is the voiceover once you got your script you need someone to say it out loud in a nice engaging voice again depending on on the topic of the video. I would say this is probably the most difficult and expensive step. You need to find someone that can collaborate with you in the long term because you don't want to keep changing voice actors otherwise your channel is going to be a mess. You know, each video with a different voice it doesn't make sense really. So having someone for the long term is definitely beneficial. You also should understand that not all voice types are suitable for all videos. So again, make sure you know who you're hiring and take your time with it. The fourth step is video editing and again, this process can also be outsourced. And what you need to do in this step is give the video editor the script and voiceover and make sure that you emphasize that they can only use footage that is licensed for commercial use. And if they're gonna use music as well, it has to be licensed for commercial use. For video footage, you've got Envato Elements, Story Blocks. There are plenty of other services out there. And for music, you've got Epidemic Sound and so on and so forth. This is because you're creating content that's going to be monetized and anything that you've 
views that is not for commercial use cannot be monetized. So make sure you're careful with that. The last step in creating your video is the thumbnail, of course. You want a nice, catchy, engaging thumbnail. And this is a very easy thing to do and the least expensive. With as little as $5, you can hire a graphic designer that will create your YouTube thumbnail for you. Now, can you really make money with YouTube automation? Let's talk about it. Now that you understand how the whole YouTube automation flow works, you really don't need to buy an expensive course to teach you how this works. It's pretty self-explanatory. Really, the main idea of YouTube automation is to know what the processes are, which I've just told you, basically five processes, and get someone to do them for you. And eventually you get the edited video and you get the thumbnail, and all you gotta do is upload. You can even add a sixth step, which is someone to upload your videos. But this can come later when you actually working at scale and you've got multiple channels and you can't handle the whole upload process by yourself. So basically all you got to do is upload your videos and make money. Sounds simple, right? Nothing is as easy as it seems, guys. While it's not 100% passive income, it does actually work. But when it works, it's definitely passive income. Once you can get all these processes outsourced from places, like I said, from Fiverr, Upwork and these other places, it can be expensive. It can cost you anywhere from $40 to $50 per video. And to get started, you need at least 10 to 20 videos. This will cost you around $1,000 to get started, which can be for most people a huge money upfront. But when your channel gets monetized, you can definitely make that money back and then some. So let's say you start making around $1,000 per month. You can invest $500 to create videos and the rest you can bank. Or you can just put that money back into more videos and multiply your money that way. And that's how you scale. But the great thing about this business model is that ad revenue is not the only source of your income. You can make money with affiliate marketing, especially at the beginning when you're not monetized. It should definitely help you with your cash flow. I believe that you can make way more money from affiliate marketing than from ad revenue, depending on the niche that you're in. You can also make money from brand deals and sponsorships. Believe it or not, these channels can be sold for a lot of money depending on how much money they generate on places like FameSwap. So one strategy is building profitable channels and selling them on. And on FameSwap, you can also buy already monetized channels to skip the whole monetization thing. That way you can start generating revenue faster and build a good momentum. In short, YouTube automation can make a lot of money, but it's not as easy as you think. But like I said, there's no need to buy an expensive course that will teach you how to create videos for your cash cow channel. All the information that you need can definitely be found on YouTube. Just make sure that you do your research on different components of the process and you're good to go. Now get to work. And if you guys need a Merch by Amazon account or you know someone who needs one, I'm going to leave you a link down below in the description. You'll get it within 24 hours of purchase. I'll also leave you below a crash course for Merch by Amazon along with 200 plus profitable print on demand niches, a link to check out my full ultimate Merch by Amazon course that's helped hundreds of people crush Merch by Amazon. And if you guys don't have time to do niche research, I'm going to leave you a link for my niche research service. I hope you got some value out of this video. Hit the like button subscribe to the channel leave me a comment down below with your questions or suggestions turn on the notifications and i'll see you in the next video